why is it important for me to know why headphones work? Well, mostly because it's interesting, <laughs> but also because by knowing how they work and what designs exist, you'll be more capable of narrowing down that perfect pair. If you already know how speakers work, congrats. Headphones are designed near identically. If you don't know, fear not, little one. It's remarkably simple engineering. If you crack open the enclosure of just about any headphone, you'll find similarly designed components across the board. Inside the headphone enclosure is this little guy. It's called the driver assembly, and this is where all the magic happens. Now, the part that produces sound is this dude. It's called the diaphragm. On speakers, it's more commonly known as a cone. Now, the diaphragm is vibrated, or more correctly, pulled back and forth at rapid succession, which pushes on the air surrounding the headphones. Now, as you may remember from junior high school science class, disruptions and displacements in air create sound waves. Now, sound waves are recepted by our ears and interpreted or percepted by our brains. If you lost me there, don't worry. To oversimplify things, this diaphragm, which is usually made out of plastic and headphones, produces the sound or music when it vibrates. You might be thinking, but how does the diaphragm move? There's no motor on there. <laughs> now, if we remove the diaphragm from the assembly, we'll find two crucial parts that I'm going to explain. Now, some headphones and speakers have other parts, such as a spider, a pull piece, yada yada. I'm not going to explain those things. If you want to know more, I put a link to Discovery Channel's How It's Made in the description that well explains all the parts to a driver. So the two parts of great importance are these. First, we have a magnet. Now, the type of magnet and the strength vary depending on the headphone model, and that's not of really great importance. Secondly, we have what's called a voice coil. It's usually a threaded copper wire that's adhesed to the diaphragm. Now, when you play music through your headphones, say through your iPhone, you are outputting a certain amount of current through the cable. So yes, from your headphone jack all the way to your ears, through the cable is running electricity back and forth. Now, that current goes directly into this concentrated voice coil, and as a result, it creates an electromagnetic field. Now, I don't know if you remember from high school physics class, but electromagnetic fields are cool because they're only polarized or charged when electricity runs through them. So a varying current of the audio signal causes the voice coil to move up and down alongside or rather inside the magnetic housing. And since it's attached to the diaphragm, it pulls the diaphragm back and forth. The diaphragm pushes the air back and forth and that creates sound waves, which is how we hear. Cool beans, that's all there is to it. So now you can go brag to all the cute girls in your contact list that you know the ins and outs of drivers and diaphragms. Actually, don't do that. <laughs> This video is a series and consists of several different parts. Select the video that you'd like to watch and click on the corresponding annotation. If you're on a mobile device, you'll be unable to click the annotations and thus the links to the other videos are provided in the video description below.